Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer Dimensions reality update video, episode 51. And it's been a few hours since last episode, and there's some interesting things that are happening. Because the black holes activated a bunch of times, um, well, first of all, I have all achievements, which is pretty nice. But also, because of my, t my time theorems per hour, I have 76 time theorems already. Yeah, this is basically enough to get... Oh my god, I can get this. I can just go down idle. I have enough to get already this. I can probably gain a few more infinity points this way. This allows me to go all the way to time study 171 on my first eternity. Which is just stupid. I don't even have time dimensions, actually. Why am I even getting something that boosts time dimensions? Yeah, I should probably just get 30 points and... Everything is going to be extremely overpowered at this point because basically all of a sudden I have progressed all the way, all the way to the point where, oh yeah, all the way to Eternity Challenges already, which is just, just wild to think about. I, c I can probably just, once I, get in, once I get the requirement for Eternity Challenge 2, I'll just do that. I mean, the Eternity Challenges... They're not going to be any struggle. They weren't a struggle last reality, except for 11, because 11 is 11. But, yeah, this is just insane. I don't even need Eternity Challenge 1 to get some study 181. However, um, yeah, you can see there's no link there. I already have three completions, so it doesn't even matter anyway. So I should probably just do the challenge, just like last episode except it's going to be even easier because I don't need to worry about time theorems as much. So I'm just going to do this like the same as last episode. It really isn't all that different. The, o the only slight difference is that I have just a few extra time theorems which just make this part of the game extra easy. I could probably just, you know, even do Eternity Challenge 4 and I could... It's going to be a joke. Why am I even recording this? See when something actually interesting happens. I mean, maybe that. Maybe the Valley of Eternity Challenge 4, because I'm going to be crunching way too much, is interesting. But, yeah. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I'm doing Eternity Challenge 11 right now. First few completions took 17 seconds, 21 seconds, 46 seconds in real time. It's a little faster because the game speed is altered because of the, the time glyph. And I was trying not to use the black hole here, but I really want to use the auto attorney challenge completion for that last, um, like for the fifth completion. So there we go. So here we go. This should pop up any second now. Um, yeah, now I have five completions because because the auto attorney challenge thing is always coming in clutch and I can unlock dilation. I always like to just see how far I can go without dilation because it's, it's farther than ever. This that's E1560 attorney points without dilation, which is crazy. Like, oh my God, I can, I can, I can probably make it all the way to E1700 or E1800 if I really, really wanted, but Let's just, you know, unlock dilation, um, first dilated run isn't even a problem, and yeah. And then this happens. I mean, it's it's literally the same as before, but it's always just fun to do this. Especially without the lag before. Maybe this time I can actually focus on getting, you know, the new time dimensions. And, and getting this, probably... I need more tachyon particles first, but there's two orders of magnitude, so it's no problem. There's another order of magnitude. I can probably get this and get another order of magnitude, and now I can easily unlock the new time dimensions. Um, I'm only at E2700 eternity points right now, so yeah, not that much. Now I can gain, yeah, even more tachyon particles. I mean, what else could I do other than gain eternity points and... Check out the glyphs that I'm going to get because of disparity rarity. I hope to see a bunch of good rarities. Well, I 
guess that's something. Okay, no, no, okay. These are epics. These aren't rares. Um, I mean, it's doing something here. We have a we have a replication speed glyph, which is interesting. People want me to do this, and it would be good for Eternity Challenge Eleven. We got another trash DT per TT per hour glyph. Where do those even exist? Oh, okay, whatever. I already have one of them. That's actually really useful, but it's, it's also I flapped out at the time being. The interesting one looks like this one. This epic power glyph with. 80 power plus 0 0.042. That's pretty interesting because that means hopefully I'll be able to like that 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 feels like it seems like I'll be able to get pretty far with that. And I'm I'm literally not even in a dilation build right now and I'm still gaining just a ton of tachyon particles. I should probably actually go into an you know an actual dilation build. It's really only marginally better actually than normal but whatever i can get this go back into dilation just gain dilate a ton faster and yes yeah, take another look at these glyphs so right off the bat this one is overshadowed this one i don't need anyway um this one might be good if i really hate it's only challenge 11 but i feel like even now like attorney challenge 11 is still bad but it took me, it takes like an hour to do a full reality. Eternity Challenge 11 is like a few minutes now. If I can just time the black hole and or the auto Eternity Challenge completions. Versus just a better power glyph than the one I already have. Like this, th this one really doesn't need to. Yeah, th there's, there's no reason even to have that one. It's... I, I like the power glyph. Maybe the replication speed is what I want, though. Um, it really depends on what I want. I mean, they, they're all... I mean, the glyphs are... I mean, yes, there's some epic ones, but they're all single effects. So they're not... None of them are going to be really good. The replication glyph I want is a replication speed and the dilated time per replica, replica, re, replicanti. That's what I want. That's... That would change the game, and I would actually pick it over something else instead of doing what I'm currently doing. Also, I can probably unpause the black hole here um, to really make yeah really make this go faster because who likes waiting? Nobody. So that's why I'm doing this. I have 15 seconds. E36, E37. Things. Do slow down even at this point. Um, let's see, I, I got the wrong upgrade here. Will I be able to get this? Barely. Okay. This puts me at a total of 454 um, Tachyon Galaxies. That's pretty good. And then we can go back into this and instantly go up to e 8300 Eternity Points. I didn't expect that. I mean,. I guess that's what happens when I have this time glyph. 0 0.045. That's a plus... That's a 0 0.011 improvement off of the 0 0.034 that I already had. So of course this is going to be good. This takes me all the way to level 9 glyph. Where my main choice is swapping my worst power glyph, which I'm pretty sure is the worst glyph I have, because this is just better. Um, swapping it for a better power glyph, or this replication speed glyph. I I really am leaning towards the regular power glyph at this point, but also at the same time, these power glyphs are pretty common. I mean, okay, not, not in the epic rarity like this, but these replication glyphs don't come common even though this is a common glyph which is kind of ironic so this is really the rare glyph this is the common glyph it just has a good rarity and honestly these these kinds of rarities are going to be common now because i have disparity of rarity so oh god it's a, it's it's a really hard decision again just like last time like it's 
finally a good replica replication speed glyph. But is it worth swapping one of my just super powerful power glyphs just for a boost to EC11? Or, I guess, Replicanti in here. But honestly, this Replicanti doesn't even matter very much. And it's just it's always a really tricky decision to make. I mean, I know, okay, it's going to be happening faster and faster. And I think I... I will get to a point where I'm going to be tr trying different glyph setups. I'm not to that point yet, but I'm still leaning towards power, so I'm, I'm going to do that. It might be a bad idea, but whatever. I'm I'm doing that. I'm going to gain my 3230 reality machines, go with the power glyph, and um, and reality. I mean, what what else? Is there and also I unlock duplicity of potency, so that's pretty exciting. The other exciting thing is the perk I'm gonna be able to get here, and this is remove non-time theorem requirements for unlocking eternity challenges. So it isn't as crucial as it was before, but it's gonna fix a lot of annoyances. Like, like look at this; they just cost time theorems. It's pretty amazing. Now the other the other things I can do is I can get duplicity of potency. And at this point, I'm really just gonna be picking my glyphs based on what is the best. So I'll take the power glyph, I'll take the better power glyph here, which is I'm pretty sure it's that one. Um I'll take the dilation glyph and I'll take this glyph. And this will be my current glyph setup for the foreseeable future, I guess. I'll get duplicity of potency. Because it's always nice to get more glyph effects. And then, I guess, black hole upgrades from here. So, it looks like with the amount of reality machines I have, it's about 3,000. I can just pick one of the three. So, it's going to, let's see, 2250, 1280, 2560. I'm not sure, like, the, the best one for just pure speed is makes the black hole stronger however it is nice to not have to constantly wait for the black hole so i'm really not sure i think i'll just get this there also is um the the, the eternal amplifier but it's actually it's at this point eternities are just not a problem just not at all. Same with infinities. So, I'm going to be leaving these upgrades on the table because they don't even matter anymore. And it's really just about which black hole upgrade I want to get. And I think the realities still take long enough that I think just making the black hole stronger is going to be the best thing. Like, I can still I can cram two black hole activations in before Journey Challenge 11. And this will mean that I'll have to use it less. So that's going to be pretty nice. This reality is just going to be the same as last reality. Except there's a better power clip. That's really it, honestly. Now I also have enough reality machines for, like, I'm getting pretty close to unlocking Parity of Singularity. I'm about 80% of the way there. And with the way my black hole is now set up, if we just go to statistics, you go to game speed, the average is 33.08. I mean, this is with this 1.14 times glyph effect. But yeah, 33 times faster than whatever normal means at this point. And this means that I'll get this upgrade in less than 24 hours, which is pretty interesting people have said it's not very good in the beginning and i have looked at the how to play here and if we go to the black hole it it t tells you how the second black hole works and it says that i have looked at this it might be kind of a spoiler but whatever i'm so close to unlocking it i can find this yeah here the second black hole the timer on the second black hole 
only advances when the first black hole is active. So, therefore, it's going to be like the black hole of the black hole, if that makes any sense. But I guess that'll have to wait one day. And also, and also, we are one reality from unlocking the automator. There's some crazy stuff happening in the near future. But until then, it's just going to be pretty normal. And yes, the automator is nigh, but I really wanted to show this interesting thing. I was looking at Attorney Challenge 11, and all dimension multipliers and powers are disabled except for the multipliers from infinity power. Um, and dimension boosts to answer my dimensions. Well, now I don't have to use just the answer dimension path on Eternity Challenge 11, which is interesting because I thought of I'm looking at Time Study 83. It's a dimension boost multiplier based on tick upgrades gained from time dimensions. This may be a way to just totally cheese Eternity Challenge 11. Or it might not, who knows, because this is not doing anything. Okay, I thought this was going to be better than it was. I will do a small edit here, and this is, I want to include time dimension and um, the idle. So this means, okay, what I'm going to do, I'll load up the build here, um, and then I'm just going to make a modification here, pick another pass in the first split, Get this, I think it's. I don't know. I hope it does something. I really want to see if it does anything here. So, first challenge completion took a total of 17 or no, 15 seconds, but it's about the same. Now, I want to try something else as well. What if I try it with infinity dimension path instead? See if this is a way. To just cheese this challenge. 21 seconds. It's just the same as before. Man, I really thought that... I thought I found this a secret formula to just make Eternity Challenge 11 never bother me again. But, nope. It's still... It's still true to... It's Eternity Challenge 11-ness, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm.